will need a loom, a loom hook, and multicolor loom bands to get started. This bracelet is a little bit different of a pattern than you're used to. First you're going to start with the left perimeter peg and go forward two more pegs. Then you're going to go back to the left perimeter peg and go diagonal to the center peg. You're going to do this for each one of the perimeter pegs. This will all be in the same color. Except for the last perimeter peg will be in color B. For this I've chosen red. Next you will go to the center line pegs and you will go forward from the second center peg to the third center peg, then from the third center peg to the fourth center peg, following the correct color scheme. Then you will go diagonal again from the second center peg to the second right perimeter peg, then from the third center peg to the third right perimeter peg. This will be in color C, as will from the fourth center peg to the fourth perimeter peg. Then again you will go forward using the C color from the second right perimeter peg forward and then the B color from the third right perimeter peg forward. This has completed your petal. You will place a cap band on the last peg that we used, which is the fourth right perimeter peg. And I chose green, which will be the color of the bracelet. Then you need to turn your loom around. And we are ready to start hooking. You're going to go from the cap band and you're going to pull the B color forward. Make sure to hold down the cap band as sometimes it can pop off. Then you're going to go to the next peg and pull the C color band forward. It'll be the top band. Then you're going to go back to the cat band peg and pull the C color diagonal to the next set of pegs. These are the center pegs. And you're going to do that all the way down the perimeter line. You're going to pull that C color band diagonal and you're going to pull that A color band, the pink band, diagonal as well. Then you will return to the center peg and you're going to pull back what you've already looped, which would be the, the C colored band, and you're going to pull that B colored band forward, the top B colored band, and then pull back the B and the C colored band, find the top pink colored band and pull that forward. Then go back and pull the B colored band diagonal and continue that down the line. And then return to the last perimeter side, pulling back the B colored bands and pull forward the A colored bands, there will just be two of them. Now you're ready to remove this first petal from the loom. Um, you're going to put your hook all the way through um, the A colored bands, all the way through, and then take a C clamp. In this case I have S clamps. Um, C clamps actually work better. But a C-clamp, you're going to go ahead and clamp all of the bands on that loom. Make sure that you have all of them. Occasionally that bottom one gets missed. Before you pull off the loom, make sure that it is inside of your clamp. Um, if you have to go back through and pull it up into the clamp, that's fine. Just make sure they all are in there. And then you can take that clamp, go ahead and pull that pedal off. And now you've completed the first petal. Uh, we will use this petal again. What you're going to do now is you're going to repeat that looming step that we just did. You're going to repeat five of these in the exact same way, except for one step at the end. You won't be placing the cap band. You will be placing 
the cap band, the green band from the previous petal, and attaching this petal. So now you will have, at the end of this one, you will have two petals attached together. At this point, you'll take the first petal that's already been completed, and you will take the green bands that were the original cap band and place that just like you would the cap band over the final peg that you hooked, and you will use that as the cap band, just like we did previously. Now you've completed the second petal and you can see that they are both attached to that green cap band. You're going to complete this process. I'll fast forward from here. You're going to do this three more times for a total of five petals. Again, each time you're ready to place the cap band, you will be placing the green band. Now there's two petals on there attaching a third.
when you've completed hooking all of the petals to the green cap band, you're going to want to finish the actual bracelet part of the bracelet. By doing this, you need to hook 11 green bands in a straight line on the loom. Make sure there are 11. If you need a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, you can, but for this case, we've done 11. Then you want to take and hook the green band with all of the petals on the last one. Then you're going to uh, turn your loom around and hook the bands in a straight chain fashion forward. This will hook the bands one at a time to the petals. When you reach the end, you want to go ahead and place a C-clamp. In this case, I have S-clamps. Go ahead and place a C-clamp on the end and then pull off the chain. You will see that it's hooked to the petals. And we are going to do it again and hook it to the other side.